Welcome back to Dani Mystery Zone, where we unravel the enigmas that keep you up at night. So today we're gonna dive in into the dark tale around Aaron Hernandez. So it's a story, you know, that is filled with tantalizing twist strategy and a lot of talent. And I think, I don't know, maybe Brandon Shop would have been a better fit look-wise. But this actor named Josh Rivera, he has something, like something in his face. He can get the nuances so right, like he's really growing on me. He looks totally different, like even um, the brother that um, he has in the series looks more like, like the real life Aaron. But yeah, that's a different story. He's a cutie for sure, um, but he has certainly a different vibe. And maybe this is what's needed for the story because, yeah, we definitely see a reimagination of Ryan Murphy. He has already gotten a little flag for it, but uh, this is normal, as he said, like he's used to filming uh, controversial stuff, um, never explain, never complain, as he just said in an interview. I'm used to this. I think, you know, I write about provocative things and controversial things, and my motto is never complain and never explain. Wow. That's what I think. But, uh, yeah, it could have been this way. Why not? And this creative freedom, and um, it is told in a very... Uh, way that makes you feel like you feel a lot of empathy for Aaron's situation he tries to do the best um, he has a lot of personal struggles with his family going on and he feels uh, a lot of pressure I I ask myself like how would I react I have this world talent and I have to be a football player whether I want it or not um, his dad is like now really putting pressure on him like you have to play on Sundays that's his big thing like the NFL has taken the Sunday to play from God um, so we used to play on Saturdays and your brothers as well but you Aaron you're gonna play on Sundays so it's this uh, almost uh, biblical story of the prodigious son yeah so picture this, a young Aaron Hernandez, a football player from Bristol, Connecticut, with a world at his feet, but behind the dazzling smile and his athletic prowess, shadows lurked, you know. And his father, I mentioned him before, Dennis Hernandez, was a formidable figure. He's pushing Aaron to the brink. He reminded me a little bit also of uh, the father of Andrew Conan in uh, an American crime story uh, season two, like this overbearing father figure, and it's also um, a parallel to Monsters, the Menendez brothers, as well. So we have this very alpha father, this like son, I'm counting on you to become the sport champion. And Aaron does as he's told as best as he can. When Dennis then dies suddenly, Aaron's foundation. Of the world is crumbled but then he can also spend a little money be a little bit more free and I've seen such stories in real life it can yeah it adds grief but it can also there's a saying right when you only truly grow up when your parents die or something because then you have to man up and this is what he's literally hearing from his dad like man up don't be so soft don't don't stand a certain way be tough and and we are puerto ricans we have to be double as tough we don't have it the easy way so you know all eyes on you and this is also what the title is if it's to be it's up to me and this is what the end he tattoos in his arm even so this episode even the beginning was so funny <laughs> spoiler alert when out of the blue it it has been some years t till i listened to the podcast and everything and and the uh, events and i i on purposely i did not want to refresh my memory um to keep it all fresh but he shoots a guy goes to a big gala where he gets honored and he has an interview and then he gets a phone call 
from the man he shot like literally from the cops and he's like yeah sorry i have to take this hey man what's up what's how's it going and he's like yeah you know you shot me in the eye and he actually he reacts very good he's like what uh i don't even know what you're talking about and yeah the short man even says like hey you cannot even <laughs> shoot the guy right so what's up with you so and this when they pull back the story to show his childhood how his upbringing was that he had to fight for everything and that things despite his talent were not so easy as you would have imagined it but there were definitely things that made it easier for Aaron, for sure. So yeah, but the void that Dennis left was soon filled with chaos. I can say this. Fast forward to the University of Florida, where Aaron's star even shone brighter on the field. But off the field, a different story, of course. Episode 1 hints at a double life, one of glory and one of darkness, as it's usual uh, in Ryan Murphy stories. The pressures of collegiate football doubled with a penchant for risky behavior, began to reveal cracks in a seemingly perfect facade. Hey sports fans, it's Bebop Babe, back in the zone. Danny's mystery zone, that is. Let's break down Aaron Hernandez's early career. At the University of Florida, Aaron was definitely a beast on the field for the Gators, a standout tight end with unmatched agility and strength. But here's the kicker, while he was making headlines for his athletic feats, his off-field antics were raising some eyebrows. The tension between his public persona and private turmoil is a classic case of the athlete's paradox. Stay tuned, because this story only gets more wild. So, as we peel back the layers of Aaron's story, episode 1 leaves us with more questions than answers, that's for sure. And what drove this gifted athlete down such a dark path, we wanna know. Was it the weight of expectation, the allure of a dangerous lifestyle, or something even more sinister? Join us next time, the Mystery Babes, as we delve deeper into the mysterious revelations of American sports story Aaron Hernandez. Until then, stay curious, skeptical, and remember, nothing is ever as it seems.